Hello, hello, everybody. It's me, it's Stacy. How are y'all doing today? Um, I am just getting started. I've had kind of a late morning. I had to run some errands, and I've been anxious to get in here, though. Um, I'm gonna do, I got four new pigments in today. Color Art, um, Mystic Blue, Beach House Blue, uh, Snapdragon, and something else. I can't remember. Oh, Teal. Teal Zircon. Um, so, we're going to do uh, a Dutch pour. I got some pillow paint here. This has a little bit of GAC 800. I'm almost out of it. And so, I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the bucket there, so to speak. And... Um, Anyway, um, I got a little bit left. All right, let's see how this works. I haven't got this taped down, so it could just spin completely off into space. I don't know. Um, it's wanker sided a little bit, but um, I can fix that for this part. Um, and then we'll put the colors on. It's twisted. It's going this way. And, um, let me see. I have a paper towel underneath here. Well, it's a sort of caramelized paper towel. It's got gunk all over it. Let's see. Here's a glove. Let's try this. That's going to affect the way it spins. I'll put it underneath the canvas. Okay. Well, that's the best I can do for now. Alright, um, this first one is, um, this is some, um, Payne's Gray pigment with cobalt blue. I mean, um, phthalo blue added. Then I have, um, th these two are not new. This is, um, key lime pigment with, um, key lime with, uh, lime paint. Two added to Liquitex lime. Then I have, let's do this, um, Snapdragon next because it's really pretty. Well, they're all really pretty, but the Snapdragon will go good next. I'm doing these in kind of a different, you know, uh, shape. And then, uh, let's do the teal. It's this one. And I've added a little paint, um, a little blue and green paint uh, to the teal to make it just a little darker. I just want to add some paint to mine because... Um, I don't think they do well just pigment alone. I just think the paint adds some oomph. And um, I like that. This is the um, this is the Beach House Blue. And then um, this is Mystic Blue. And one of these I added paint to the Beach House Blue. I don't think I added anything to this one. Some of these colors are kind of similar, but um, I wanted to try them out because they were new. And um, here's the cell activator, and this is mostly paint. Um, it's about two parts Floetrol to one part um, Amsterdam White. Um, I don't want a big blob of it to be in the middle, so I'm not going to put that much. Alright. Dang, that's tilted. Okay. Let's try to blow out that center part. I don't want my extension thing on this time.
best that I can. And then I'm gonna let it sit there a second and move that together before we spin it. This may take a minute. Oh, I can kind of see from the side. If you can't see from up and you have trouble telling when it's quit moving, you can look from the side, try to get on eye level with it, but um, sometimes I can tell from above, but I don't see so good, so I have to get down low sometimes. But I'm going to give this one a, a good few minutes to get on back in there because I don't want a big blob of white in the middle. I've got my airbrush there I can blow it out with, but I really like it better when it does it kind of organically on its own. Um, look at those pre-cells. Isn't that cute? I love that. All around these sides. Pretty. I love these pigments. They're beautiful. Um, we'll just see what happens. I hope y'all are having a good day. It's beautiful here. And I've been watching YouTube videos trying to grow my channel. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe nothing. I don't know. It just takes time, they say. Um, thank y'all for helping me out. By watching and... Liking and subscribing, that helps. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. Let's see. That's not hard enough. I wish this was a better tape down or something. I could really give it a good whack. But um, I'm afraid I'll, I've knocked it off a couple of times and there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. Okay, we'll just get these corners. I'm not going to tilt it very much because I think that destroys the lacing if you over tilt. And probably spinning it is pretty much, um, you know, it's pretty good. Um, we'll just get this covered a little bit and then I'll go back over here to this side but I'm not going to um, tilt it a whole lot I just want to get the corners that's pretty oh do another one and add some different colors I knew these were going to be kind of similar but I'm glad I put that that thalo blue in there because it needed um, it needed some blue because those other ones are all kind of greenish bluish you know but I love those colors that teal and those colors I love them Get a little air bubble I, I think you still need to stretch them a little bit, even though you, you spin them, um, just to, I don't know, it mixes it a little bit better or uncovers some of those other colors, you know. Um, I'm just getting it back to the center now, and I'm going to do this corner over here. Or over there. Well, it's closer to this one. Let's go and do this one. I don't have to get very far on this one. Just, I'm mainly doing this just to stretch. Hang on, what's going on right here? Is that canvas or it must be canvas because it doesn't want to pull. See those other colors get uncovered when you tilt. So I want to do it some, but not too much. Because then I think it damages the lacing. And that one's got pretty lacing in it. Dang it, when I do that corner down there, I thought I already got that corner, but 
Looks like I may have grabbed it by that corner. Oh, it takes so long. Oh. That spinning does pull a lot of paint off, though. I mean, I don't really worry about crazy with these. It's like Julie from Pouring Your, Hearts, Pouring Your Heart Out said, when you do these like this, the spinning removes so much pain. You know, she said she didn't have any problem with crazing with these spinning ones, and I haven't either. Um, I've got a couple that I didn't like the way they dried, but um, they weren't um, they weren't crazing. And that's good. I hate crazing. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Okay. cover that that way okay because I don't want to distort what's going on up there let's just get it back to the center now all right I gotta get this one down here. What is that? Is that tape or? There. Now. tilt this as much but I'm having to because these corners are dang it shoot I got my finger in the way can't see very good right now. Well, you can't see it all. I just need to get this last little bit over here. And then <sighs> that last little bit over there. And then we'll be done with the tilting and just straighten it back up. That's moving faster. I think my finger got on the canvas. You know, sometimes you get your finger too close on that edge and it'll pull that paint. And then you gotta, usually white, but whatever, you got some color that doesn't belong. That's really pretty, I like that. I'm just gonna get it sort of centered out again. And, um, and then we'll be done. But the lacing is pretty in that one. I think that thicker cell activator really helps. Dang it, go away, you. Ugh, the white came back out. Ugh. Gotta get rid of that. Once and for all. let a little bit of this pour over the side so that white won't ooze back in. Alright, now then. Look how pretty that lacing is though. That having a thicker cell activator makes the lacing more defined. Um, 
it makes it um, prettier, I think. It makes it nice and, um, uh, well, more pronounced, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. That top part looks like a really pretty piece of glass I had one time. It was really expensive. It was like $60 for an 8x10 sheet. I didn't have it. I, I saw it at the store. I can't afford $60 a sheet, but I uh, wish I could because it was really beautiful. It looked like that patch right up there at the top. The green, the green and uh, blue swirl. It was really pretty. I like what this one's done around the middle part. That that white blob doesn't bother me because it's got something going on. And I bet you if I torch it just a little bit, some cells will pop out of it. I torch the whole thing, but I think it makes those little pinprick holes um, if you torch the whole thing. And the pinprick holes is what I want in that white because I, I don't like all that just solid white. But um, I used to torch the whole thing, and for a long time I didn't have any problems. And then all of a sudden, it seemed like I was having these little pinprick holes come in, and I didn't like them, so I I quit doing it. All right, y'all. Uh, I think this is just about where I want it. All right, let me uh, see. That's beautiful. Let's see what happens if we torch that middle part real quick. Sometimes because of the flow troll, you can get a little, little action. See like that, those little bitty holes, and that's what I want around that area. I don't mind them there. All right, let me let y'all see up close. And, That one is beautiful. Let's suck up close. Love that lime. To me, the lime is kind of like how gold sets things off. The lime does the same. See those little bee holes? See them? I like them in that white. You know, they break that up a little bit. I don't want to do the whole thing because I don't want those little holes everywhere. But see, they're kind of pretty right around there. See, you can see lacing throughout this one. And I credit the thicker cell activator um, for that. See, even down to the corners, you can still see it. Not very good, but you can still see it. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate you being here just like every time. Um, and y'all join me next time because I got new pigments, new things to play with. And, you know, I don't know what I'm going to get into. But I appreciate you being here. Y'all have a great day.